All right, welcome back everybody. Anyway, it's new here, thanks for joining me today. Um, yep, kind of already out here this morning. Uh, I feel like I'm a little late actually. <laughs> so hopefully um, today is gonna be a good one because it's cold out here. I have my hoodie on, I actually have my waders on. Yeah, so we're gonna be walking around on the water again today. Um, I have a couple of ideas of things to chase. Uh, some of them have teeth. Some of them don't. Some of them are small. Some of them are very large. So <laughs> we'll see what we end up with today. I'm not going to throw out a definitive thing because it's like the first cold water day of the season that I'm fishing. And sometimes that's not the best day. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a try for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy today's video. So stay tuned. So I made it down here. Hopefully it's not too loud. I always have a hard time figuring out if it's gonna be too loud out here or not. Uh, you guys seem to like these videos regardless, but I'm back at what's becoming <laughs> my new favorite spillway. Uh, this is the first time I've ever fished this in the fall. And uh, I'm kind of interested to seeing what's down here. Um, I did get bit off the very first time I was down here by something very large, possibly ski-like. So I have a couple baits to throw for that. I've gotten some very big northern pike down here and a whole lot of smallmouth. But there's one fish that I was trying to get down here early this spring that I'm hoping this fall. Comment below if you guys know what I'm uh, after. Uh, I'm not necessarily sure what the title and description of this video is. So <laughs> we're gonna go off of hopefully I get what I'm after right now and then I'm gonna go through a list of lures. Um, I'm gonna start out with a jerk bait, a small one because there's a lot of other fish in here. I mean, there's a good variety. So we're gonna give it a try and see what we come up with. Hopefully, uh, like I said, it's not too loud. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna show you this guy this way because then you can hear me, but it's a slow sinking shadow wrap. Uh, Was it 11? I'm gonna see if there's any big guys down here first. I have a couple options for jerk baits, but I'm gonna try this one first. Okay, it would appear the water is very low, so I'm going to throw my little bit smaller jerkbait. This one's a suspending Matsuo. It's a lot smaller. Shouldn't sink as fast. I keep snagging the bottom with it, so I'm going to switch it up. Uh, I got all my Apex rods out today. This is my Apex Elite. Uh, if you guys want to pick up any of these things, they're listed in the description, the tuned up custom rods. The cool thing about this one that I did custom is from this point right here to here is 8 inches. So you go 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's 18, 19, 20. And I believe that's 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Or 26, 27, yeah. So I put markers on it so I can measure fish right away. So I don't have to pull out a measuring tape. Fish. <laughs> Not sure what it is. Oh, it's a little smally. <laughs> really little. He's super skinny. This guy looks like he was almost eaten at some point. I gotta grab my pliers. I forgot. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Well, 
that's one. These Matsuos really work really well. I tried getting a hold of Matsuo America, but I, it's almost impossible. Um, but you guys make a really good little jerk bait. I enjoy this thing. Anybody that wants to use one of these, I'll list it in the description below. And uh, yeah, pick yourself up a couple. I always buy them in like twos and threes because they're actually really easy to lose because it's so small that like big northern pike can bite the whole thing off. But uh, it works too good not to have them. I have like 15. <laughs> Fish? Fish. Speaking of Northern Pike. <laughs> and that's a really silvery one. Play nice, dude. <laughs> well, there you go. There's the first pike of the fall. Man, everything's really skinny down here. That was close. <laughs> Where are you going? Go on. There you go. Hey, but mess up my leader nope always check your leader but like I was saying we can catch everything <laughs> okay so one little smallmouth and one smaller northern pike both of them were actually very skinny which is kind of worrisome because that means there's probably not a lot of bait down here um, I'm gonna move I switched out my uh, that chrome looking shadow wrap to a, I think it's an x wrap uh, It's got a little feather on the tail, and it's like a gold color. The water is really dirty today, so um, when it's when the rivers are dirty like this, I like to use a gold color. So both my are like a goldish color. Um, both my jerk baits right now are basically gold. Uh, I have one little Matsuo, and then the x wraps uh, I think a number five x wrap but. If you guys are wondering how I'm working these lures, so you reel them in and they kind of wobble like nice and slow, which works really good for this time of year when the water start cooling down. Um, but to kind of get like a reaction strike, you just you just pop it real good once in a while, and uh, usually that does enough to get them to go. So like if they're following it and you pop it, they'll hit it. It's kind of an instinct thing that can't stop themselves from doing it usually. So if there's fish around, I'm usually on them with the jerk bait. If you guys have been around for a while you know I like it actually I have a whole video on this thing if you guys want to go check that out but yeah I'm gonna move over here and I'm gonna move around a little bit I have waders today so I can walk up and down the river all I want so we'll find more fish Okay, I'm gonna try the bigger one first. So that's like a number, I think it's a number five. Okay, the big jerk bait's not doing any good up here. Uh, I did have one fish on that was pretty big. But I'm gonna switch to this little one. It's a little bit lighter presentation. Finesse tends to work a little bit better in the fall, so I'll give this a try. I did bring live bait just in case, so. If I can't get anything on this, I'm sure I'll get something on the, uh, I brought night crawlers, so, wish me luck. Okay, before I move on to another part of the river, I'm going to switch over to live bait and see if there's actually anything around. Usually, you know, half a night crawler, a little night crawler chunk on a jig under a slip arbor around here works really well. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to end up walking down river and seeing what I can find, so. 
Stay tuned. Catfish? <laughs> yep, channel cat. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Real healthy one. <laughs> What a cheap hook. My hook just broke off in this guy's mouth. What is that? The Smalley. <laughs> They're like tucked in by rocks and stuff. Another one that looks like he, ha he was in the mouth of something. All the way out. That's crazy. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, I'm gonna try to shelter the mic here. I tried for probably, I don't know, like an hour, hour and a half with just live bait. And I got a couple of those fish. Uh, I got that one catfish. It was really healthy looking too. Um, if I was eating catfish, that would have been a good one. But I'm just out trying to catch some fish today. Uh, I think I'm going to actually go walk down the river this way because I never did that yet because I haven't come down here with waders. And uh, I'm going to give these artificials a try. I'm going to try the jerk bait some more. Hopefully there's some bigger fish around, but we'll see. Okay, changed it up. Gonna just toss this bigger jig around and a half a night crawler. Um, been throwing the artificials for a little while. I didn't get any bites, so I'm gonna check it out, see how things are going. Hopefully I find something. Okay, gonna give this a try a little bit more here. I'm hoping there's some more smallmouth around. Another little smally. <laughs> I wasn't sure I was going to see any more of you guys. guys uh, hopefully like I said before you guys can hear me um, I got that last little small mouth and then I've been trying for a while a couple different baits and stuff like that nothing seems to be working I don't think there's anything in here like piled in yet um, might be too early I like I said before this is my first time fishing this area so well first time fishing this area in the fall and it might not be one of those spillways that like gets a ton of fish I have a bunch of other ones I got to check uh, as the fall goes on and hopefully I stick in to a bunch of really big fish this season because I have a lot of plans for those but I still caught fish today I mean I got a northern as I one northern I think like three smallmouth 
and that channel catfish. So that's not too bad. I mean, that channel was a decent sized fish. That was probably the biggest one today. But uh, yeah, I tried walking down the river. I tried doing a bunch of different stuff and just wasn't panning out today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's little struggle. I mean, I still caught fish, so there's no downside to it. I caught fish. But uh, what do you guys want to see next? Um, I think I asked, was it jumbo perch, smallmouth bass, and walleye, and possibly northern pike if I get a bug up my butt and I want to go friggin' try to catch some of those. Um, we'll see how it goes, but comment below which one of you guys want to see next. I was kind of chasing the smallmouth down here. That was my main goal, um, but I do have some other options, so comment below, like I said, what you guys want to see, and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, could you please just remember to?